designing it. And um, it's, a, it's a beautiful home. It makes us happy. It makes us feel very warm and comfortable when we're there. And what I like about it is that um, so everybody has a kind of uh, persona ka extension home. And uh, uh, we wanted that for our house. And our house is a more of a warm tone, right? We, we like uh, it to look cozy and comfortable. And uh, sometimes people like contemporary houses. They're beautiful. They're very stark. They're very cold. They're very metal and glass kind of finish. But we wanted to have something which was more uh, deep, rich, a little more wood, uh, you know, more earthy, more earthen tones, and a lot more interior and exterior coming in, blending in together. So we have a whole bunch of skylights. Is what people don't realize is when you live in a bungalow in, in, in Mumbai, you're surrounded by buildings as neighbors. So getting natural light generally gets blocked from everywhere. So we did a very interesting thing where we put, we put skylights um, in our house uh, across the different levels. So you have natural light filtering in throughout the day, and it looks, it looks lovely. Uh, and the other feature that I think I was predominantly responsible for, which I loved, was uh, the vertical garden. So not everybody is a you know, uh, magnet like Mr. Hira and can have like a beautiful garden out there on their terrace. So people like us need to accommodate a garden rather than having it like you know, uh, uh, horizontally. I decided to have a vertical garden across the wall. And it's, it's complicated. It's difficult to maintain. But I think it's uh, spectacular because you don't realize how much fresh air, how much fresh oxygen those plants are giving you inside your living room. Um, and, and I love that. I love that feature. I think it's featured in the magazine, too. So yeah, we have a lovely terrace. We have a lovely rooftop, where, which is Priyanka and my romantic spot. Um, and on a clear day, we like to look at the stars through the pollution and the smog. Um, we like to look at the stars and listen to some music and have a nice conversation you know, amidst the chaos, a little bit of silence. It's kind of beautiful. So when we get into your house, does it reflect your personality or your wife's personality? Uh, predominantly hers, I think, because... Uh, so what is your personality? Um, because all you just said was your wife's personality. Yeah, so I think... Roman, uh, Roman nice, early feeling. My, 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 my personality is a little more... Uh, uh, like what most married men's personalities become <laughs> after they get married. Uh, do you like it, love? You do? Great. Fantastic. Okay. I like it, too. <laughs> so you're a good husband. So it's a little I more mean. like that. No, yeah. I'm a smart husband. <laughs> All right. There you take the point, guys. He's a very smart husband. All right. You are an actor. You've done so many movies. I'm, you Let me give time. you a chair. I'm sorry. Are you OK? No, but you know what I like to that oh, way? I great. have a chair there, but I don't like it. I, I like my work when I'm in action. Fabulous. Great. So um, tell me when, as, you know, as, as an actor, when your film is not doing well, when right. it bombs, when it's not uh, doing a box office uh, venture. Uh, I, I've known that feeling yeah. Yeah, multiple times. Yeah. <laughs> Can you explain and elaborate? Because I want to know how it feels uh, to be uh, on that. You know, what, well, I mean, you know, initially, uh, it's like uh, the first flop is always kind of memorable because it hits you hard and you feel like, oh my god, you know, it flopped. Um, and in my career, actually, I didn't get to know um, what a flop was uh, for a while. I was very yes, fortunate absolutely. to be very successful. Absolutely. And uh, the first flop kind of hit you. But then after that, you have to realize to be able to distance yourself. And, and, and over, I think now, what, 12 years of my career, uh, I think the best piece of advice that my dad gave me was, he said that, uh, well, you need to be able to be exactly the same, feel exactly the same, the way you feel about your success and the way you feel about your, your failure. You need to step away from it, because whatever it is, it's in the past. It's already done. So um, if, you, if you hang on to old success, it can be as toxic to hanging on to an old failure. You need to be able to look forward and disconnect yourself from that, because whatever it is, you're going to have to reinvent yourself for the next one. So whether it's a hit or a flop, you can't do it again. You can't repeat it. So you have to just go forward, do something new, and enjoy the process. You can't take it personal. You, you, I, I personally, I, I believe, don't take success or failure personally. It's an attempt. It worked. Great. It didn't work. Great. So, so basically, on. an actor shouldn't, shouldn't react. Or should, like, this is the, the yeah, mantra because, that everybody should follow. No, it, it, it's not what everybody should follow. I'm nobody to say what everybody should follow. But I follow it. I believe that uh, in life, not just as an actor, I believe that sometimes we get so obsessed with our success 
that we forget to live life normally. And it changes us from who we, are, we originally were as, as a person. Uh, and sometimes when we get obsessed with failure, that also makes us depressive, negative. And uh, so, you know, both both have uh, their their uh, uh, pros and cons. And, and, and I believe move forward. There's no point living in the past Fantastic. for anything. How does it feel when you have a, men a father and a mentor right in your house? It's amazing. It's an incredible feeling. Uh, he's not only my father, not only my mentor, uh -huh. not only my guide, but he's also my greatest critic. Oh, I know. Okay. Uh, so um, it's 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 good to have that because it's you know it's somebody who's telling you the absolute honest truth at home, and uh, you don't uh, you don't have I mean, you have the support, you have the love, but you also have somebody who's constantly keeping you on your toes, and that's a good feeling. Okay. And how is uh, fatherhood treating you? Have I mean, you changed? From a Casanova to a playboy to a father now. Casanova? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I well, guess. Um, well, let him answer this one, and then I'm going to get on to them. So, yeah, I mean, uh, fatherhood, I think, has been the single most, single largest metamorphosis no, in my life. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. <laughs> okay, she I said think it I used to be. <laughs> Ev everybody knows I'm a good boy now, so. Um, yeah, there's no doubt in that because he actually is raving about his fatherhood. Uh, so I, yeah, for me, uh, the biggest metamorphosis, the biggest change in my life has been uh, becoming a father, and it's been a process of, strangely, a process of self-discovery. You know how, how your priorities start to change, and you don't even realize it till it's happening. You know, um, I'll try and rush away as soon as I, like, pack up. I'm out of there. I'm in the car. And I'm trying to wrap up all my telephone calls and my work before I enter my house. So then when I enter my house, I switch off my phone and I get to spend that time with, with, with my kids. And with my son, he's two and a half now. So it's amazing. The most incredible feeling is when he tells you, you know, even if he's sitting on that potty and he wants someone to come and wash him and he calls for you, it's a strange sense of joy and pride that you feel that, oh, he asked for me to come and, you know, even if it's to wash his butt. It's a strange sense of feeling and joy. I mean, that's why it's it's completely overwhelming um, being a dad. And the little things, the little things that he likes to, you know, try and copy you uh, or, or or do with you. The I like I like to believe that my relationship with my son is already more like a buddy. Um, we we chat about stuff and we have our own little you know fun time. We go to the beach, which is very close by, to fly a kite. Uh, every time I have a, a day off, he loves kites, and I think it's a really cool thing to do, not be in front of the television or an iPad all the time and go out and physically do uh, you know, stuff. So fatherhood changes you completely, and then when you become a father of a daughter, 